morning, girls. Hiya, hiya. Morning, Margaret. Good morning. Morning. morning, Donald. You can go now, the important right. poker here. Go on, Ben. Get on, Ben. I am, I am. Hey. We're not sticking at the back. <laughs> hey, up, oh, Ivy, have you got that crate of brown ales under that feet? No, I have not. <laughs> oh, hey, oh. Do you know? Hey. Oh. I told you over early. So it makes a nice change, doesn't it, instead of being last all his life. Giving church a miss, are you? Or are you going to go when you get there? I've just been here. I went to East Club Mass. Best that, innit? Get it out of the way. Then you can enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> here we are, Percy. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, what number seat is that? 29. Thank you. Hey, up here. Let us pass. What a pay call. Oh. Hey, you'll need house keys. No, you're all right. I'll, I'll uh, nip in the rovers. I'm getting coach sick. You, you don't get coach sick, <laughs> do you, girlie? Only when I ride in them. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, I think. I'm sorry, I'm saving the seat for somebody. Oh, only I was told seat 29, next to a Mrs. Pierce. Oh, I'm Mrs. Pierce. It was Percy Sugden who said. He was quite specific about it. Oh, he were, were he? Well, you'd better come and sit yourself down, hadn't you, love? Well, no, <laughs> not if you're saving it for somebody else. I'm not. Not anymore. I'm hoping she'll fall asleep once the bus gets moving. Well, I'll take her if you want a break. Oh, uh, so you two ladies are sitting together, then? Is there any reason why we shouldn't? No, no, um, I'll be behind. Yeah, it won't be far away. Is there anybody sitting there, Mrs. Tilsley? Uh, no. Well, we want two seats by ourselves. Hello, love. Right, all set then, are we? Right, take it away then, driver. Hey, don't go with that half shark. I thought he went on. No, he got off again, didn't he? Ooh, story of my life, that, you know, running after that fella. Give me iron teeth for a day at Blackpool. But our Jason's just at that age where he don't want to go anywhere with his man. Jack, what do you think you're playing at? I've just been asked for my professional opinion about the state of this new battle. Isn't that right, Beth? No, look, get yourself on the bus. Come on. All oh, right, I were coming, weren't I? I might have known it'd be us that would keep everybody waiting. Oh, it's been. Oh, poor Jack. It serves him right. Oh, no, I don't know why I'm saying poor Jack. We're the ones who are stuck in here. Well, I don't think you'll be needed tonight if you want to take it off. Alec will be back soon. I can't see there being that much of a rush. No, I suppose so. Mind you, it's a bit short notice now to arrange anything. Well, I'm available if it's a drink and a natter you're after. Oh, yeah, OK, you're on. Staff outing, is it? Where are you going? I can walk police. Oh, somewhere fashionable and glamorous and uh, not too expensive. And not too glamorous either. Else with wardrobe I've got, I'm going to look like I'm in fancy dress. <laughs> Don't you think an announcement to be in order, you know, briefing the passengers of time and place of return? They already know, Percy. But I'll remind them before they get off if it makes you any happier. Good. All right, ladies. I'll be at your disposal when we get there. I know Blackpool at the back of my hand. Pardon me again, Mrs. Tilbury. Hey, I'm not going to be led round Blackpool like a school cart. Let's just see what happens when we get there. But why does he want to latch on to us anyway? Why oh, can't he go and find people of his own age? <laughs> were a bit dubious about coming. Not knowing anybody, except Percy, like. Oh, never mind, Percy. There's a few heads will be turning when we're strolling up that prom. There's a good-looking couple they'll be saying. <laughs> hey, uh... you know, I've got to start making plans for flying back before long, you know? Oh, well, all good things come to an end, don't they? Well, they don't have to. Not if we don't want them to. <laughs> You know what's on my mind. You don't all along. Shh. All right. But when we get off, we're going to slip away by ourselves. Well, it might not be that easy. I, I don't care. I've got some important things I want to say to you. And today's the day I'm going to say them. Well, of course I haven't come in to look at it, have I? Hey, you and me and Curly are going on it, aren't we, lovely? 
Probably. Come on, then, let's get the queue. You got any trouble sickness pills left? Yeah, come on. I'll tell you what, we need some flags. You can't have a right castle without flags. I'll just finish this malt, and then I'll go and get some. Dad, can you tell Uncle Dumpy to give my spade back? <laughs> hey, do you hear that? He wants his spade back. You know what? I'm killing myself here. I thought your mother might have wanted to join us, but she didn't seem all that keen. It's up to her. Well, I told her we had plenty of sandwiches, but her and her visitor seem to have plans of their own. Uh, Ryan, will you pass me that bucket? I'll go and get some water. I'll go if you like. It's all right. I feel like a walk. <laughs> Have you just come from Weatherfield, Robert, at term? I have. Yeah. I'm going back there and all. How long have you been here? Mm. Best part of an hour. Looking for him, are you? Yeah, I am. We had a pony and trap in Canada, remember? Oh, yes, I think I do, actually. Thank you. Nice. I want you to come back to Canada with me, Audrey. I want to take you back to Toronto. It's time for keeps. Oh, Malcolm, come on. Now, you mustn't say things like that. Well, why not? You know how I feel about you. We both know ever since I got off that plane. But staying at your house and all, it's been very difficult to find the moment to say it. I'm not sure this is it, Dad. <laughs> well, it's going to have to. I mean, I can't wait around forever. You know that I care for you. I told you that in Canada. As soon as my back was turned, you'd hopped on a plane and you were halfway across the Atlantic. I couldn't have just stayed. Yeah, all right, all right. You had a face off. I respect that. Listen, Alf has been very good to me, you know. Audrey, in the past few days, I've seen your marriage in close-up. And if I thought things were really happy between you and Alf, I wouldn't be saying any of this. I mean, this is why I came over here, to see how things were between you. Well, I just thought things were as bad as all that. Audrey, I've seen it. I've been there in the house. You and Alf aren't making the sparks fly anymore. That's if you ever did. Come on back to Canada with me. Let me take care of you. I promise you'll be happier than you ever thought possible. Look, if you want some reasons, there are lots of reasons why. Like what? Like it's a wonderful country. You know that. You've seen it. Like I've got the wherewithal to provide for you. And Stephen's there, don't forget that. You can be reunited with your son. Yeah, but then I'd be leaving my daughter here and my grandchildren, don't forget that. Well, that's what I mean. There are reasons for everything. Reasons to go, reasons not to go. In the end, you've got to be selfish. You've got to say to yourself, what do I really want? Oh, well, what is it I really want? Well, for starters, you want to be with me. I mean, here we are together, right? Would you rather it wasn't me? Would you rather it was Alf sitting here with you? 